Hi guys, it's Manisha here. I'm just back again today with another quick nail mail share for you. And this time it's from the Born Pretty store. And it's just a really small nail mail share. So I've only ordered um, three of their new stamping plates. And um, that's what the website is there, but I've actually ordered it through um, Born, bornprettystore.com. Um, and also I've ordered a, um, uh, what's it called, a water decal, one of the new ones that they bought out, and some shell paper. So I'll open those up and um, show you what they look like closer up. Okay, so I'm back. So the um, water decals um, just really caught my eye because they've got a lot of abstract images, so lots of triangles, diamond shapes, um, things like that. I really like arrows and um, yeah it just really appealed to me they've got a little bit of wording there on the side so as water decals go most people have probably used them in the past um, really easy to use you um, there's like a plastic sheet that goes over the top so you make sure you remove that and then just cut out whichever decals you want to use on your nails um, and then you pop them in some water for about 20 to 30 seconds, I think. Um, and then that will sort of, you'll know that they're ready because they'll just, if you slide them like that, the decal will come away from the backing paper and then you can just put them straight onto your nails. So I think these ones have got a clear background. So whatever um, polish you've got on your nails will actually um, come through and you'll see that. So I think it's really, um, they're really cool. They're quite... They're quite little so they're fine for people with long or short nails um, and you can probably combine them with um, nail stamping and other sort of nail art techniques as well so yeah I just thought I'd share that with you here's a closer look and I'll link all the um, item numbers for that um, down in the description box and on the back of it it's got a little description on how you actually use them and then the other the shell sheet is um, something a little bit different so it's not a um, water decal it's actually a sticker and um, it just the colors really appeal to me it's sort of um, something I thought I'll just give it a go and um, I've never used it before so it's actually made out of I think it's real shell so it kind of looks like it and um, the colours are really cute. There's a few different colours available on the website, but I just chose this one because I like greens and blues. I thought it might be something quite nice that I can combine with my magnetic nail art. Um, so you just get one sheet per pack. Um, as you can see, there's no instructions. That's just what the item number there is. But on the website, they do actually just say that you remove... Um, well, I think you'd probably cut cut out what however you want to use it. And then there's just like a little plastic backing, which I'm having trouble getting. Oh yeah, there you go. So you just peel that off and don't touch the sticky part, obviously. Less contact you have that with your own um, fingers, the beta, because it all um, we have always got oils and things on our fingers. So as soon as you touch that, it's not going to stick as well. Um, so yeah, obviously cut them out, peel off the backing, stick them onto your nails and definitely would do um, some top coat over that just to make sure you, it lasts a little bit longer. So that's the shell paper. And then the um, stamping plates. So I just only ordered three. So they've bought out, um, I don't know if it's a new new range or one that's been available through that other website, but they're new to the Born, Born Pretty store. Um, and I just ordered three just to, because I've got loads of stamping plates. I didn't think I really needed any more, but um, they just had some cute ones with Asian designs on them, which I really like. So, like usual, they come in a in a um, cardboard sleeve. They're quite pretty, really nice, um, cute floral design on that side. And then on the back, it's actually got their um, information on how to contact them. Um, and so this is the first plate I ordered. So this one, the plate number is... And I'm not sure what that says there, but it's L002. And that's just really full of cute flowers. Some of them look very similar to what's on the um, front of the packaging. So really cute. 
cherry blossom. I really like this branch that goes along the top there. You could probably do that across your nails quite easily. Um, and it's got like a giant fan that you're obviously not going to get onto your fingernails, but it's got some really cute images there on there and also um, a really nice pattern down the bottom and some other really cute images there too and um, yeah, some sushi and a teapot and a fish and things like that so you can see that for yourself, you can pause at any time to get a better look so that's Elder Blow 2 and then the next one I got was another Asian themed one. So this one is L003 and it's a full image plate. Um, hopefully you can see that. It's really hard to focus it. Um, it's a full image plate with a cute lady on there with a beautiful um, gown she's wearing and um, carrying um, an umbrella or parasol. Um, so it's got a really nice pattern. She's got beautiful patterns on, on her dress that you can pick up for. And you can quite easily fit um, you know, these patterns on your nails so they, they should fit quite easily. Some of them you probably won't be able to but I think a lot of them you can. So that's that one there and I really like the parasol that she's carrying because you can see all the little flowers and that on there too. So oh, yeah, that's that one there. And then the last one I got is not an Asian themed one, but another theme that I really like at the moment, and that's um, got lots of plaid on it. So it's quite a, a differently laid out stamping plate. So usually we're used to seeing um, stamping plates with the images sort of running this way, but this time they've done them running that way. Um, the uh, pictures themselves or the images themselves um, aren't overly huge they're just under two centimeters square yeah around about two centimeters square and if you work in inches it's about probably about three quarters of an inch each square is so if you've got long nails you're probably not going to get them that way around but you might be able to fit them that way around so I'll just show you closer look of that plate there. It's got some really cute sort of sweater designs along the outside too. So yeah, so that's that one there. And then the plate number for that one is L010. And they all come with a plastic backing. And it's the usual XL plate size, which is six by 12. Yep, six centimeters by 12 centimeters. Um, they've got the blue protective film on the front and just a plain plastic backing, no words or writing or anything on the back, but keeps the plate nice and um, sturdy. So I'll just remove the blue film and we'll try some of these out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've removed the blue film, but I couldn't get over how thick the film actually was. So I took it off two of them and I'll just show you how it's really stuck on well but it's a lot thicker than normal I don't know if this is a bit weird but I'll just show you how hard that was to take off but at least you know your um the plates are really well protected so I'll go ahead and um, do some test runs with that and um, I've got a um this is actually a born pretty stamper head but it's in a Moyu London holder so I'll try that and I've also got a Moyu London um stamper as well and a, um, this is an AliExpress holder, but the stamp head was one that I got off eBay because when I bought this, it was damaged. And so I've just replaced it with one of the heads I had from one of my other clear stampers. So I'll give that one a go too and see how well they all stamp. And I'll just be using my um, Born Pretty store scraper. And I've just got a collection of um, nail polishes so I'm going to start with this one here which is a Sally Hansen and it's not a stamping polish but we'll give it a go and if that doesn't work I'll just switch it out to one of my um, stamping polishes.
and I'm going to be stamping from uh, what was this one? L double O three, and it was the um, the lady, the graceful lady, and she's actually wearing a kimono. I don't know why I said gown earlier. Um, and so this time I'm going to be using um, Color Alike polish, and this one's called Be a Juicy Tangerine. Anyway, I'm back and I just want to show you a close-up of how well they've actually stamped. So they've all come out really clear um, and I mean this was done with a non-stamping polish too so it doesn't really matter which stamper I actually used for them and um, they've all stamped really well with different types of polishes and um, the images are really nice and clear. Um, I think off the top of my head I paid um, $2.99 a plate um, and I think it was really good value for money. Shipping was on the slow side and um, I think Born Pretty Store say that they're going to ship within 24 hours on their website but sometimes it can take over a week before they'll actually ship it out to you but anyway it got here in the end um, that's the main thing so um, thanks for tuning in um, please like comment or subscribe for any future videos and nail art tutorials that I'll do and um, if you have any questions at all leave it down in the description box and again thanks for tuning in okay bye